so no, you, was, you're, you're calling from where now? I'm calling from JB Hunt Transport. I have a local position that's paying 90000 a year, Monday through Friday, that I wanted to see if you'd be interested in. 90000 90, a year. And it's local. So this, what, a day cab? Yeah, so it's going to be a day cab. Um, it's out of Portland, Oregon, and it's for Petco. Your start time is going to be between 10 a.m. and 12 p.m. And it's going to be a weekly average of just under 1800 Okay, so is is this a – okay, so let me ask you this. Uh, this, this, is out of, yeah. this is out of Portland, Oregon? Yes, sir. Uh, okay, okay. So, so I'm out of Ohio. So, I mean, would this would would this be like uh like if I want to move out to Portland, Oregon to take the to take the position, would you guys uh pay for my transfer and everything? So, we do have um relocation packages. Mm -hmm. Um but it looks like I have you not under the right zip code. Um, so if you would like for me to, I can look under your zip code and see what we have. And then if you're not interested in any of those, um, I can reach out to the client manager and see if they'll do a relocation package for this one. Okay. Okay. So before you do all that, tell me a little bit more about the, about the position that you got now, uh, the one that's in or, or, uh, Portland. So this is like what for pet code yeah. for the food for the pet food uh Correct. internet pet food thing. Yeah, so it's a pickup preload trailer at the DC and delivery and delivers to the stores for Petco. And then each trailer has one to three stops and then driver will be required to unload with a manual or electric pallet jack. Lift gates may be used at the some stores. After deliveries, drivers will return to the DC with returns or bulk or I'm sorry, backhaul. Hmm. Okay, so this so this is a driver assist type deal. And you said this is like ninety like ninety K a year. So break down the you know, break break it down for me. Like uh is this yeah. like hourly? Is it like cent per mile? Is it uh is it so it's gonna be yeah, it's gonna be two hundred dollars per day. Okay, so two hundred dollars per day. No, no matter how many stops and the trailer and everything like that. Right, it's two hundred dollars per day, and then that's gonna be Monday through Friday, and we're gonna work ten to twelve hour days. Okay, okay. So we looking at uh. uh so we, we so this will be like what a five day work week. Correct. You're going to be uh, working Monday through Friday. And you're going to be off on Saturdays and Sundays. Okay, so two hundred dollars a day, five day work week off of off to uh, Saturdays and Sundays. We are looking at about a grand a week. My tax bracket. So I'm looking at anywhere between. I'm going to say on the low side, six hundred dollars a week, and you say we get ninety k a year. Correct. It's uh, ninety thousand a year. Um, let me get that back up here. Yeah, that, and that, it's going to be a weekly average of just under eighteen hundred. Account is getting increased rates, and will update their activity based pay. I'm sorry, yeah, activity pay ASAP. So they're looking to actually increase this position as well. Okay, but but you just mentioned that it's two hundred dollars a day. So, is what what other what what other uh what other money that's included with that two hundred dollars a day? So let's see, they actually don't have that on here for whatever reason. Really? Um, let's see here. Because that that don't sound right. Even at a thousand dollars a week, it still don't. I still don't add up the ninety k a year. I'm just saying. Yeah, um, <laughs> I would have to reach out to my manager and see what the deal is on this one because in the description, yeah, it's saying ninety thousand a year, two hundred per day. Uh, that, so that 
That don't sound right. We we looking at about at least on the <laughs> low fifties. Like you 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 talking two hundred dollars a day? Uh, mm-hmm. we we five five days a week, right? I mean, I'm, I mean, c- correct me if I'm wrong, but five times two is uh is is a thousand. So yeah. you you know, so that's gross. So you, like I said, well, my tax bracket is anywhere between two and three hundred dollars. So I'm looking on the low side of at least seven hundred and some and some change a week. That's that's yeah. not that's not even enticing to move. <laughs> like right. you know, I could yeah. get a, you know, I could get Definitely a, need to reach out and right. see if they have a, a type or something. Right. That's um, what is the zip code that you're in right now? Uh, I'm in uh four four one oh eight. But let's let's rewind back to the uh to the uh to the Petco deal though. <laughs> How do you have to have any uh what what's what's the experience that you have to have for the account? So I think let me pull that back up here. It should be where did oh my where did it go oh here it is you only have to have three months of experience with your CDL class A okay okay um yeah well let me see that's uh three months of experience do you guys offer do you guys offer anything let's just say I got my CDL but let's just say because I got a couple uh-huh. of homeboys that's looking that's looking to get into trucking too so do you guys do like yeah. uh do you guys do like like schools or something like that if they don't have their cdl would you guys do you guys uh offer uh cdl training for drivers that don't have their cdls that's interested in getting them so we do have um what we call entry level positions um those are for our guys that are fresh out of school um we do have those but we don't have the actual Schooling. right now oh okay so for guys and, um, oh i'm sorry go ahead yeah go ahead uh, so for guys that's uh, like oh go ahead <laughs> <laughs> you're fine uh, all right go ahead it's fine all right so for guys that's getting out of school like you know brand new into it they 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 won't be able to rush and jump into that petco account that you guys got available Right. Um, for those guys, we would have to put them in an entry level position. I got you. I got you. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So this we is do, so we're very. Um, we have to have experienced drivers just because we are known for our safe driving. Gotcha. So. Okay. So this is a. So this is a a, a local. So this this is a local. So, mm-hmm. uh, being that we're off uh, uh Saturdays and Sundays. Being that this is local, will we be able to get some be you know be off on on the weekday too, or or is just this going back and forth, going back and forth? Because like, if we're going to be in the day cab, are are you guys going to put us up in a hotel for while we're out? How that work? So, um, if you did a relocation, um, we would pay for your expenses to find housing, right, and then. Um, so you'd be home every night, Monday through Friday, oh, and then of course okay. you'll be off on the weekend. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So we, so we will but be off. Oh, I but. do. Have, okay. Yeah. So I do have um, some actual relocations because it's uh, Petco. It's not a relocation right now. My manager is looking to see if he can make it a relocation for you. Mm-hmm. Um, but I do have some intermodal positions that are actually paying more than the Petco position. I would assume so. A relocation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, but, you know, I'm, I'm just sticking with the Petco because that's what you called me about. But um, uh, but I'm, I'm curious to know, like, if this is a day cab, right, what's what's the uh, – mm-hmm. right, so we're slip, slip seating the day cabs, right? We, we won't have the same day cab uh, on a daily basis, or would we? Um, if some accounts do as flying trucks, let me look and see if this one's split seat or if you're going to be as flying. Okay, so this one is a split seat, yeah. Okay. Now, let's, now for drivers that, that stay out in, where where is this again? Portland? Or, well, I mean, we just say Portland, yeah, right? Portland, Oregon. Okay, so for the people that actually stay out in the, out in the area, you know, that might be interested of, you know, jumping in there for 
six hundred dollars a week. I'm just saying. Uh, <laughs> is there is there is there a sign on bonus? So there's no sign-on bonus with this one. The only thing that I would have uh, would be a sign-on bonus um, out of the Portland, Oregon. It's going to be those relocation ones. Oh, that okay. Are already signed. Yeah. Okay, cool. Awesome. And then um, my manager did check to see if we could do a relocation for this one. Um, we're not going to be able to. So okay. if you would like for me to look under your zip code to see what we have. You know what? I can do that for you as well. You know what? Tickle my fancy. What what what, what do you got in in the four four one zero eight uh one zero eight area? Yeah, and that's in Cleveland, Ohio, correct? Yes. Okay, well, let me take a look here. After refresh my page here, because for whatever reason, did you used to live in Oregon? Uh, you know what? It it was um. What can I say? It it was a uh, uh, a position that I was that I was interested in because one of my guys in the Facebook group uh, was talking uh -huh. about it, and I was interested in it. So when I called you guys, like maybe about a couple of months ago, I called you guys uh -huh. to show interest in it, but the young lady couldn't find. The uh, you know, couldn't find the the information on it. So I was I was like, huh, okay. Well, maybe uh, maybe we will do we will do this. You know, why why don't you just give me a Portland, Oregon zip code and see? And I and I think that's where I'm, you know, okay. th where I'm I'm at. That you guys got me in as a Portland, Oregon. You know, we zip had code. you under. Portland, Oregon. So I did update your information. So now we have you, you know, in Ohio here. Um, okay. And what are you looking for? Are you looking for a local, regional, semi-local? Because I have a little bit of everything open right now. Well, just give me just just uh, give me a Kool Aid full of what you got. Like what 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 you got for each okay. each position? Yeah. So I'm going to start off with my semi-local because I do have a very popular account that's open right now. Let me get it pulled up here. Let's see. All right. So I do have a semi-local uh, for Red Classic. It's in Twinsburg, Ohio. Um, let's see. This one I do know has a sign-on bonus. It's a $5,000 sign-on bonus. And it's a weekly average of just under 1700 and a yearly average of 86500 and it's Monday through Friday, early morning start time. And then drivers will have the opportunity to get by their house once or twice a week. And so you're going to be out on the truck a few times a week, and then you're going to also be able to get by your house once or twice a week in addition to your weekends off. Okay, so this is... So you uh, might be out so on I, the truck maybe once or twice a week. Okay, so I will be in a... Sleeper truck. We'll be in a sleeper. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then okay. this position is also a no touch freight position, so you don't have to worry about touching any freight on this one. Okay. So is, is this like yeah. live loads, live unloads, or dropping hook, dropping Correct. hook? Yeah. It's going to be your drop in hook, and then there is going to be some live loads and unloads. Okay. 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 And you say but this it's is mostly going to be your drop in hook. So you say this is this is ranging in the 85, 80, 85 K realm. So what, what we're looking at, break it down. What would I look be looking at at a week? So it's going to be 67 cents per mile, an average of 2,241 miles a week. And then you're going to get $40 per live load, which is an average of two to three per week. And then it's $20 drop in hook, average of four to five per week. So that's going to bring your weekly average to 1,663 and your yearly average of 86,500. Okay. Okay. All right. So let's, uh, let's skip the parameters and get to what, uh, what, what is, what is needed to qualify to get what you guys. So, uh, what, what you, you know, let's just say I'm interested. Let's go for it. I fill out the application. What do you guys are looking for as far as qualifying me to come on with JB Hunt? Um, so really, we're just looking for our drivers. So, do you have anything on your CDL, on your MRV, like any accidents or uh, tickets? Uh, I don't, but let's just say that. 
I do, but I don't. You you mm-hmm. see what I'm saying? So Yeah. Okay. So what But as I, long as everything comes back clear on your uh background and your M R V and you pass your drug test, you're good to go. Um all right, let me, as long let, as you stay in contact with us, you're good. All right, so let me rephrase that then. What can get me disqualified? Um, so more than one serious accident in the last three years. Okay. Or any, um, preventable rollovers in the last 12 months or not passing a drug test. Okay. Okay. Uh, what about, uh, now you mentioned accidents. What, what about, what about drivers that has like, like tickets, say like, uh, a speeding ticket, cell phone ticket. DUI ticket. What what's what's the policies on on that? What would that so your give me? DUI has to be outside of five years. Okay. And then um, as far as tickets, um, if the cell phone use is in a personal vehicle, you should be fine. But, and then any speeding tickets, as long as you don't have say like three and two of them are serious, um, you'll be fine. Okay. Now, what about a cell phone ticket in a in a commercial vehicle? So that one, it depends on if it was parked or if you were actually driving and on the cell phone. Okay, so I'm I'm giving I'm giving scenarios so that I'm actually trying to break it down because this has happened to uh, a few drivers that I know. So yeah, one scenario is when he was driving. Okay. So that may be a disqualification. Um, the onboarders would look at that and see how far out it was. If it's outside of the three years, you should be fine. Okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. Well, um, thank you. I, I I do appreciate the uh, the time and the offers that you guys have available. Uh, you said there is a sign. How how is the sign on bonus paid out though? Yeah, let me get that pulled up here. So the sign-on bonus is a 5000 sign-on bonus. And in your week one, you're going to get $500 in a, additional on your check. And then week two, you get another 500 Week four is 1000 Week eight is 1000 And then 90 days, you'll get another 1000 And then at 120 days, you'll get the remainder, which is 1000 Okay, okay. Uh, my last question before I get on up out of here, and I know that the, the offers that you got available, let's say I choose one of them and let's just say mm-hmm. maybe, uh, two, three, four weeks down the line, I'm not, I'm not feeling it. Will I be able to, uh, jump into another, uh, opportunity there or it's just, I'm, I'm pretty much stuck in the position that I choose. Yeah, no. So um, if you decide, hey, I don't want to go with this account, let's take a look and see what else we have before I go to, to this account and sign my papers. Um, I can always go over some more positions with you and get you transferred over to another position. Now, once you sign your papers on a position and you get hired on, you do have to stay on that account for 90 days. And then we have what we call a transfer portal that is for existing JB Hunt drivers. And once you do that, you can switch over to a different account after 90 days. Okay, so I so in other words, I gotta give it, I gotta give it my all <laughs> <laughs> before be, be, before you guys actually transfer me over to another to another position that might work out better for me. Right, because um, what happens nine times out of ten, we'll get drivers still hire on with a position that has a sign on bonus, and then once they get that sign-on bonus, they jump ship to another account that has another sign-on bonus. So in order to protect ourselves, uh, we do have to do that transfer portal after 90 days. So we're not jumping from account to account to account just to collect those sign-on bonuses. All right. Well, JB Hunt, well, thank you very much for uh, contacting me and uh, keeping me posted of what you guys got available. I really do appreciate it. Um, I do have a, I do have a social media background, so I, I would also share this information out with uh, drivers, especially the Portland, Oregon one. Just saying. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah. I, I will share that out and uh, and let my guys know that you you guys have some some opportunities available. Okay. And are you interested in that Red Classic semi local? Um, I'm gonna say I'm I'm gonna hold off on that and put that in my back pocket for right now because where I'm at is pretty good. So I, I'll I'll just hold on that and 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 keep that. But I would definitely share it to somebody that might be interested. Okay. Well, if you ever change your mind, you got my number. You can always reach out to me. Okay. I appreciate you. Thank you. 